Hello everyone, um, I'm here today to show you for a special request um, a tutorial how to make your own watercolor abstract uh, postcards. This uh, is a very relaxing exercise you can do and I'm gonna list the materials, the supplies you need down below. But I can tell you two things that are very important is the quality of your paper. Like it has to be heavyweight, it has to be cold pressed and um, for this purpose because it requires a lot of water to make these exercises and um, to be able to, even if this is a little ripple, ruffle, I don't know how you say, but the, the wetness it needs to be uh, a strong paper to hold and I made these circular patterns and then I draw a face on them with uh, water resistant pens which is this uh, Micron I use the number 8 which is a thick one but okay let's get to it the first thing you guys need to do is a preview surface I have uh, cut it down my watercolor paper 4 by 6 and I use the yellow painters tape um, in the middle like it's already cut so to seal in the middle I use washi tape uh, this uh, thin so I have a nice black or blocked area in which I need to work. We also need a paper towel. We need two separate uh, jars with water, one for warm colors and the second for cold, blues, uh, yellows, so you don't have, you don't end up with a hot mess in your jar. We, uh, in addition to castor, we can find also these pre-cutted postcards. I, I have used both. Um, and a round pencil, pencil, I'm sorry, a round brush. And it's recommended number 20 because of the, how the freedom and the surface that is, um, uh, easier to do this exercise with a, a bigger brush but for more details uh, and numbers of brushes I want to list them in the description box too and for a watercolor paints you don't need a uh, super expensive watercolors uh, but if you can afford them that will be ideal I like the Dr. Martin's liquid concentrated watercolors but for these um, exercises I bought this palette in Walmart and I'm using um, the brand Royal Lang Nicole it's a 24 sets of watercolor tubes of paint and I'm so pleased with this because it's a super affordable set and the colors are vibrant and and not chalky so I was afraid to get a cheap set thinking oh this is not gonna look really good but fortunately I uh, I choose I read reviews of the products online and this has a consistent good reviews so I will I I can recommend this brand to you guys if you are starting to experiment with watercolors they will really be pleasing to your eyes like the results are so so good so um, I I previously applied some of the colors I'm gonna use in these exercises to my palette and as it's foldable you can let them dry it's no problem but let's start with how this actually uh, exercise is done with this one you're gonna just wet your brush and dab it in the, in the color you choose to start with you're gonna make strong 
long random strokes and then you choose another one I'm gonna stay with the same color family and I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise if I don't have turquoise I'm gonna make it Perfect. So I can do tricks. Look, I'm in. Probably, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some yellow. Swipe my brush with yellow along, along the lines already created. So you start to see a nice background develop, developing create, uh, with strokes. If you, if you feel it's too much, too much, um. Yellow, you can reapply your pink. You can reapply your pink. Again, if there is too much pools, you just pick them up with your toilet to touch with your paper towel and you go ahead and let it dry or use your paper. 